I guess the very first thing we want to do is output something to the console just to make that make sure that things are working properly. So let's create, how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to create several different methods that will be called from within the main method and then we'll define those methods below to make things nice and clean. So the very first method I'm going to create will be called print to console. So let's type that out, print to console. And below that, I'm going to now create a method of the same name and this will be the method signature. So again, as I mentioned, we have to define this as static. So static void print to console. And guys, as I'm typing these things out, I'm definitely going to be making mistakes. That's just a normal part of being a developer. So, you know, please bear with me, you know, because that, those things happen. And to be honest, you learn from your mistakes as well. So I, I'm still learning today and I'm very seasoned. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so we have this print to console function. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to display, let's just say a message to the user. So maybe we'll make this a hello world application. This is a common thing we do in development. So let's output hello world to the console. So to do that, as you remember, I brought in the system namespace above. So because I did that, I don't have to say system.console. I can simply just say console, and then the console class has a right line method. So console.write line, as you can see, our auto suggests is already pulling up the correct method. So I'm just gonna hit enter on that. And every single line must end in a semicolon. Every single line that specifies a method call or a variable declaration, which we'll get into later, must end with a semicolon. So make sure you do that because C-sharp is very particular on those things. So within this right line method call, we need to give it a, a, an argument value. And so the value that it normally expects is something called a string. And a string in C-sharp is um, basically created with double quotes. So whatever text we put between these double quotes will be the value that we're sending to the right line method. And as I said before, we wanna create a hello world application. So let's just say hello world. Cool, and let's save that. And you can save that on a Mac by doing Command S. I think on Windows it may be Control S, but don't quote me on that. There should be um, something within your menu above on Windows where you can um, actually save the file, maybe an icon or something like that. But if you're not sure, when in doubt, just look it up. So now that I have that, um, I'm going to run this application to, just to make sure that things work. And uh, to run this on a Mac, we there's a short key, which is uh, basically Command, Option, and Enter. So let's try that. It may take a while to build. This is the very first build, but there you go. As you can see below, it's outputting hello world. So that's basically how we output information to the user. 